So I started working in the Shard only about one year into my career and that was a really, really exciting prospect for me. So my role on the Shard was designing the foundations of the building, so that actually helps hold the entire tower up. And then I also worked on the design of the very top of the building, which is where the viewing gallery is. So in my day-to-day -day life, I use um, computers a lot. We do calculations, we simulate structures in three dimensions, we put wind loads and all sorts of things on it. And those pieces of software are really important to structural engineers. And that's sort of what has defined modern engineering in comparison to what we were doing at the turn of the 20th century. So I use Twitter quite a lot. Um, I was terrified of it, to be honest, when I started. I'm a bit of a technophobe sometimes with things like social media. But I found that it's actually a very powerful tool because it gives me a platform where I can talk about engineering to a broad public audience. Anyone that wants to listen can read the articles that I write, that you know, can watch the interviews that I do, or you know, learn about all the amazing things happening in the profession at the moment. So one of the most inspiring women that I know of is called Emily Roebling, and she was the wife of one of the designers of the Brooklyn Bridge in New York. So she's from the 1800s, and for 11 years, she project managed that bridge. Emily, as a woman, stood up, she learned about engineering, she studied maths and physics, and without her, the Brooklyn Bridge probably wouldn't exist. So the construction industry is a rather male-dominated industry. At WSP Parsons Brinkhoff, where I work, we're about 25% female. But the industry average is around 10%, so there's clearly still a long way to go with trying to address that gender imbalance. I really encourage young girls and students, women, to come into the construction industry and the engineering industry there are so many different types of roles that you can do. It's not just about getting muddy on site. And you know, if we raise that awareness and show people the diversity of roles available, then I'm sure we will attract more women into the industry. So I'm often walking around London and I'll suddenly see the Shard in an unexpected place on the skyline. And whenever that happens, it's just a really, really proud moment for me because the Shard is really one of those towers that defines a skyline. You know, people think of the Shard, they think of London. And to think that I played some role in the design and construction of this tower is, is very, very special to me.